I'm back with my trusty laser etching machine to try something that was requested a lot in my video about etching glass. Today I'm going to use this machine to etch acrylic. But it's not as easy as it sounds. There's a reason they say that this machine is not intended for acrylic. Let's find out why. I was sent some great samples from Lucite Lux of their crystal clear acrylic. And it's called crystal clear, but it's not really. The back of these is actually frosted. And I don't know if that's just because they're samples or if that's how it actually comes, um, but they're going to work for what I'm trying today. So I get started by measuring them up, seeing what would be the best way to load them into the laser machine, and then taping them off uh, with a few different uh, mediums for etching. You can see here that I've got some blue painter's tape on one section, some simple pink construction paper in the middle, and then I've taped a green index card to the back side. Um, the idea there being, will the light pass through and etch better on the back side rather than directly onto the front. So my next step is just to take this to the machine and fire it up. Once I lined it up, uh, I just got started and things went pretty much according to plan right away. You can see here that it is etching through the acrylic down against the index card. It's also doing well on the pink construction paper and the blue painter's tape. The question is which of these is going to do the best? The idea is that they'll actually capture the heat and transfer the heat to the acrylic, melting it in the pattern that we want. The design you see here is actually part of a t-shirt design I've done. It kind of harkens back to Stephen King's Gunslinger. I'll put a link to these t-shirts in my description. You see here that it's finishing up. And so the next step is just to take it back and take the mediums off to see what we wind up with. So here we are, everything looks really good as far as etching into the mediums go. Big question is whether or not it transferred how I expected it to. Started by peeling off the index card and it looks pretty good. I can see a good film there where it looks like things were melted. Pink construction paper looks pretty good also. You can see a nice outline. Um, so far my hopes are up. And it of course is the hardest to remove. You can see it actually cut the tape really well right through. That's promising, but the real question is how it all is going to clean up. So after taking it and wiping it down with alcohol, this is what I'm left with. Pretty crummy, if you ask me. Most of the letters are barely legible. The guns are hardly etched at all. Out of the gate, this doesn't seem like a very good way to do any etching, but I've had luck with the blue painter's tape in the past. So my question now is, maybe this is just too high quality of acrylic. Maybe Lucite Lux uh, has a really great product. Since I had luck with blue painter's tape before, I'm going to try it again. Taking the other acrylic sample, covering it in blue painter's tape. I'm going to try etching on the whole thing. And 
And that's when I hit a snag. My etching machine stopped. It rebooted. Uh, I guess it was overheated, had been running for too long, and I only got part of the design etched. Still, though, I had luck before, so I went out and I broke a piece off of my cheap acrylic to see if maybe it would etch a little bit better. You can see here that it actually is crystal clear. Maybe that has something to do with it. Who knows? I etched this piece by actually rotating my work around so that I could etch the bottom of the graphic that was missing out of my last test. Once it reached where the last test had left off, I went ahead and stopped it so that I could put them together and take a look. Things already did not look very nice. Even though this is the acrylic that I tested with before, I was getting pretty discouraged at this point. Something was obviously off. After some cleanup, what I was left with was something that was barely recognizable. From up close, you can tell something is etched, but from a distance, there's just no way. This wasn't working. So I went back to the drawing board and took a look at how I'd had success before. I got one more broken piece of cheap acrylic and tried two more designs, one on each side. The first was an Oh My Noun logo, and the second a bold letter E. Obviously, the letter E came out perfectly, brilliantly. And that's when I realized what the issue was. This machine won't etch acrylic in thin, tiny details. Any designs you etch will have to be bold. And then I tried one more Oh My Now custom made for etching acrylic. I etched this with three passes and came out with a great result. This flaw on the back side was from trying to etch my calibration graphic. Even it didn't work. So it's clear that the answer for etching acrylic is to use bold, strong lettering or graphics and making sure that those items are etched with multiple passes. That gives the best result, etching acrylic. If you'd like to see me etch anything else with this machine, let me know and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching.